Hey y'all, welcome to the back to the vlog. Um, it's your girl Teak. Today is Saturday and we are out and about doing some things for back to school. So I just left my sister house. I just picked up my kids school list. I had her printed out for me. So I'm not like looking at my phone the whole time trying to figure out what they need. I got it right here. So this is it's one of my kids is going to fourth grade, and the other one going to fifth grade. And the fourth grade list longer than the fifth grade list. Huh? Huh? I don't I thought once they I don't know. I don't know, child. But we're gonna get we can get on that. Um I know I can't get everything from one store, but we're gonna try our best to get what we what's necessary and then we'll work on the things that they need for the classroom like paper towels and Clorox wipes and stuff like that. We're going to get pencils and pens. That's a necessity. And then we'll work on other stuff. Sorry, y'all. This road look bumpy. So, just left her house. I'm about to go to Burlington. I got to get backpacks and socks and underwear. I've been dreading coming out today. It's 340. Uh-oh. Yeah, I've been dreading to come out the house all day because I know the stores are going to be like super, super packed. And then plus it's hot out here. I just don't be liking to be out. I just want to be in the AC, chilling with my feet kicked up, relaxing, you know? So, that's that's what's going on, y'all. So, yeah, I got to go to Burlington today. I got to go to Walmart, maybe Target because I got gift cards. And, um... Hopefully everything is at Burlington that I need or I might have to go to a different Burlington or if Burlington don't work out for backpacks and stuff, I can go to Ross. So that's what we're going to be doing today, y'all. I just got on um, this little number here. It's a half shirt and I got on some blue jeans and I'm just missing my light. I'm supposed to be, I'm so tired, like. I was supposed to be and get out the house and do this, like I said, but I've been like just laying on the couch. And then my husband took the kids to a football game and his car, I was supposed to drive his car, but I ended up not going because his car ain't got no AC. And baby, it's Florida. It's too, it's too hot. It's too hot to be out here with no AC. So I just laid around until they got back. And then when they got back, I was dressed already and I just got up and ran. So that's what we're doing today, y'all. I feel like I don't say that a hundred times, but I'll see y'all when we get to Burlington. Whew. All right, y'all, we back in the car. I am sweating just from walking to the door to the car. Oh my God. Anyway, so I did, I had a little bit of luck in there. I did find a backpack for the kids and um, socks, a pack of socks. I seen two packs of socks, but um, I just got one. Um, also, the underwear in there was like pick, picked over and it just wasn't worth what they had left it wasn't worth my money um so next stop it, it's another Bur <coughs> excuse me there's another burlington up the road here about maybe 15 minutes so maybe i can pop in there i'm not a shopper i don't like to shop that's why i do everything online i don't like to be in and out of stores it just wears me out and i'm just i'm not that kind of girl i'm very simple and Give me an online order. Once I go to one store, I'm exhausted. I'm ready to go back home and lay down. That's just how I always been. Um, but we're gonna try something different today. We're gonna get we gotta get this stuff going because school start on Thursday and it's Saturday. And I ain't gonna have no other time after that to do it. So after today to do it. So let's get this done. On to the next store. All right, y'all, we don't make it to Walmart. I didn't go to the other world, I'm saying. Um, but I'm in here. 
And looking at these packs of paper, I remember paper used to be like 20, 30 cents a pack. Y'all, 84 cents for Wild Rule and then College Rule over here. So I got my list in hand and I need two packs of Wild Rule for fourth grade and how many packs for I don't think I'll need no loose paper he just needs a bunch of notebooks so yeah he don't need no loose paper which is odd to me I think I have a um supply box in my closet that we just add on things every year that we don't use or either we buy to be buying and buy more of it than we actually need and okay one pack of wild rule paper see our leak zone is listed by class let me let me flip y'all around so i can see all right so our leak zone is listed by class ela math science Lot yada yada. So I have to look at each class to see what he need. And then a mirror zone is just a whole list. It's a whole list of stuff that he needs. So we're gonna go through and see what we got. They yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot going on. 84 cents for these packs of paper. We're gonna do four. Four of those. All right, moving on. Cause I'm pretty sure we got paper at the house. Um, I don't think nobody need no crayons. Yeah, I don't think nobody need no crayons. They need markers though, and glue sticks. Oh, highlighters right there. All right, y'all. It'd be a lot easier if I just put this down and go ahead and do what I'm supposed to do. All right, y'all. So, I got a good bit of stuff. But, baby, this stuff is expensive. Maybe it's just me. But I feel like I'm definitely spending way more, way more money than I did last year. So, and what I don't understand is the price difference in a lot of this stuff. Like, these rung up. I, I got an app on my phone so I scan the things. This is a pa regular pack of Crayola markers. I think they're washable. Um, $5 or something. So I got the regular classic colors with not washable. $0.45. Cent. So of course I got the $0.45. Cent. And then Alik needs thin markers for his class. This rang up $7.18. So maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. But I don't understand how the thin markers could be a whole $40 more than the freaking regular markers. And everything is pretty much ran through. It's on the next aisle over. So I came over here to start scratching stuff off my list. Well, finish scratching stuff off my list. Um, I wasn't able to find no pencils. I found pencils, but they was extremely expensive. Um, and then I need erasers. And then I need headphones. And copy paper, I need two packs of that. I didn't see any over there, but that owl had got crowded. And I don't deal with crowds, so I'll just wait till it die down a little bit to see if I can go back. Also, they're very specific with this stuff. They want folders. Oh, okay, I see. They want folders, but they want... Oh my God, I got away. So yeah, they want folders, but they want specific colors. Red, green, blue, orange, purple, yellow. Like, hey, y'all gonna tell me what color to get from? Maybe my son only like yellow. They're not going to tell me what color to get for my kid. That's crazy to me. But 
I misunderstood this one. It said four three prong and two pocket poly folders. What's the difference? Who knows? But this is what they're asking for. And I'm not sure if I'm getting the right things. But I guess we'll know when they send a note back home and saying we need this. So this is what my basket looking like. One needed a half inch binder, one needed an inch binder, one needed construction paper, and it's just, it's just a lot going on. I got these for the house because we have no permanent markers and I have to write their name on all this stuff. So, I'm going to see if I can find a different aisle for school supplies. If not, then I could go to Target. Because I said I got those gift cards and I could just get the last little bit of stuff I need from there. But I'm going to try to go back over to this aisle to see if I can scan through to make sure I'm not missing anything. Make sure that I have successfully oh, sorry <laughs> thank you make sure I have success, successfully completed my mission so let's do that it's so crowded y'all I, I, I do this to myself every year I wait to the last minute and then I'm just like overstimulated and hot I was literally sweating trying to figure out do I got everything what's this Many pouches. Excuse me. I got highlighters. And I opted in to get the skinny, I mean, the big highlighters versus the skinny highlighters. They also say we need some expo markers for like them right on the dry erase board. But, baby, these are a little, a little expensive. They're a little expensive. And then, oh, this is a cute eraser. Rainbow. I should get my boys these. Oh, fucking have a fit. Um, so they say I need stuff like this. But I'm thinking I need more so more of these than these. Let me double check. Because I didn't see these the first time. So I'm glad I scanned over. I need... Three paper made pink pearl erasers. What's pink pearl? Oh. This is pink pearl. I need. But these are 148 for just three of them. When this one is, I believe. I'm oh, sorry. This one is, I believe, 184. Four, one, two, three, four, six. So I think I'm gonna go with the pin and gear versus pink pearl because it's just crazy how they just gotta tell you what about with your money. Hey, y'all gonna get my money if I can afford, baby. And then Ali need twelve or twenty-four count of erasers. Okay, so he gonna be getting half of this pack. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Let me scratch this off my list as what is this? How many how much these pencils is this? Two twenty-four count. Alright, I mean I gotta use my app to scan these prices. Let me see. Too much damn money. Hey y'all, so it's the next day. Um, I left off yesterday. That store wore me out, so y'all didn't see me again. Sorry. But it's Sunday. We at the mall. I want to go in here and get my ring cleaned and inspect it. And I think that's all we're doing in here. Then we got to go to the other location of Burlington where I couldn't go, where I didn't go yesterday. Walmart, Walmart wore me out, y'all. I was in there fighting for my life. My wig was on the ground. Fighting for my life. For them damn school supplies. But we gotta get Ali some cleats. His feet roll like wildflowers. And the cleats are too small. So. But school is out the way. we done with school shopping. That's it. That's all. They got shirts, they got bottoms, shoes, supplies. They're good to go. At least for a couple of, at least a month or two. 
facility. And then we'll get them some more shirts because we gotta buy those shirts individually. It has to have the school logo on it and they like thirty dollars a piece. So yeah. So yeah, we just got in here and about to get my ring cleaned. I can't get my ring off. So he's gonna try to clean it while it's on and inspect it while it's on. We tried Windex and everything and it won't come off. My finger is swollen past the ring, so I can't get it off, y'all. So that's crazy. I've never been able to not get it off. And he's a Windex works like a charm and it didn't work for me. Anyway, while he's wait, doing the paperwork, this is where he bought my ring from. And I'm just browsing around. I've got all the good stuff. He's up there working on it now. My paperwork. Oh, that is so pretty. That's so nice. Look at those earrings. So nice. Trade in and trade up. Trade in your Zales diamond and get 10% off. 100% well, trade in value towards diamond piece that's doubled. Okay. Upgrade. I feel an I feel upgrade coming in. No, I can get some though. I have some that it really is good for this jewelry. Oh, yeah, all your stones are nice and tight, all your prongs. Good. Place. All right, y'all. So we got to the thing now, and this mall, huh? Oh, damn! They closed journeys. This mall is struggling, y'all. Since I used to, oh no, journeys right there. <laughs> I often say, no, not journeys. This mall be struggling though because it's no stores in here. Like, this is the kind of mall you go to when you don't like a crowd. It's a few stores in here that you really, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that was the spot right there. Ava's accessories. You go in there and get any color accessory you want. Yellow, gold, silver, purple, blue. All kinds of shit. Ava's accessories was the goat back in the day. For when people wore colored accessories. Look at this child. This, this water's so filthy. Yeah, we ain't. Uh-uh. Come on, let's go. No, we're not going in the water. Come on. But this mall, y'all, barely got anything in it. It got a bath and body works that we're used to. I don't know if they still got They got a rainbow. They trying to. They trying to. But they've been trying for the past five years. What, mama? Oh, this is that place that we go to by the house, babe. That Latin place. They, this this thing only had like one um thing to eat in here at one point, and it was it was one. Huh? Oh, they don't put that over there. Okay, boba tea. Okay, y'all, they trying. I ain't been here in a while. 
Oh, fair bites. They got fair food over there. Okay, then. Fry Oreos and shit. Jerk, yeah, they trying. They trying now. They trying. There's way more people in here, I will say. Because they only had one place to eat and a few places to shop. Maybe like three or four. But yeah, we finna explore a little bit, y'all, and see what we can get. I am hungry, but I don't wanna buy everybody else no food because we finna go to Sam's Club with a piece of uh, $7. So, but I'll just wait. <laughs> Mom life. Did that have yellow? Mommy, did that have yellow? The boys got some Yeezys, y'all. Amir got silver, child. I don't know. I let these kids express themselves, but I don't know why they keep chose silver. Let me see your shoes, Ali. Okay, then. Where you finna go? You know. Yeah? Where you finna go? Hey, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hey, hey. Well, she wanna go to Goodwill. <laughs> He said he finna go to Goodwill. Come on, y'all. I bought the girls a toy so they can keep calm. This food is smelling so good. I'm ready to eat. But I'm finna go to Sam's Club. Come on, Nana. Let's go. Bye-bye. Let's go get in the car. Come on. Didi, don't do what she do. That's, that's yucky. Come on. Yeah, we wasn't in here long. I just got... A few things from Rainbow. And, uh, yeah. Sam's Club is the next stop. I know one thing, they need to get some AC up in this thing because it's hot. Oh, they got a little bakery. Okay, a bakery coming soon. Oh, that's already over there. Let me go over here and slide. You know, I love me a good sweet. This thing got shaved ice, boa, a uh, bubba, bubba, bubba tea. This place. Okay. I see y'all. I see Guffy. I see Guffy. Trying to come up in the world. They need to bring Abel's back, though. Bring Abel's back, then we'll be all right. Hey, guys. So it is later on in the night. It's about 10 o'clock at night. And we've been home for maybe like three hours. And we cleaned. I did both the girls' hair. I wanted to film me doing the girls' hair, but they're not ready for that yet because they both be crying, screaming, hollering, and I am as soft as possible, but they haven't got out of the stage of crying yet, so it won't be something nothing good to watch because I'm frustrated. You can see it in my face. They crying, snotting. Just, it's just not a good sight to see. So once they get more comfortable with getting their hair done, then I'll sometimes film that. But, um, anyways, about, like I said, about 10.30 at night, I'm about to hop in the shower. And that's it. That to the Sunday, this Sunday was pretty busy for us. We did a lot of ripping and running, um, trying to get prepared for school. But I think we are all good to go. Um, everything is done. We did the last minute stuff that we forgot today. And they ready for school. Um, I will be doing the boys' hair, however, next week, retwisting their dreads. Now, they started their lock journey uh, about a year and a half ago. I started it, didn't know what I was doing, watching YouTube videos, and came up with how to do it, and it stayed. It stuck. It's not looking how I would like for it to look, but I'm going to try to do a little one-two to get it to how I how I feel like it should be, like dreads and not more so of like hair on my head you know what I mean like I don't want it to be like more matted I want it to be like an actual dread and I feel like it's more so matted than anything right now because I don't know what I'm doing but I'm doing both of their hair um this week Monday and Tuesday maybe fall, falling into Wednesday so they could be ready for Thursday um it's kind of crazy but school does start on Thursday and the end of the week so they go to school Thursday Friday and then they off for the weekend so lucky them I remember us starting school maybe like on a Monday or a Wednesday, something like that. But these kids got so many days off, it's crazy. So, yeah. Just wanted to come on and end the vlog. It may be a short vlog. I'm not sure how much I got yet. But I feel like a lot of things that I wanted to film, I couldn't because it was so busy in a lot of areas. 
that I was, I had to just stop and focus. Like, school supplies, baby, I'm telling you. I was fighting for my life when at Walmart, literally. Like, when I say that, people think I be joking, but I was fighting for my life. <laughs> and, but it was all worth it because I got everything I needed. So, yeah, just wanted to come on the end of vlog, and I will see y'all next vlog. This video should be up on Monday, tomorrow. So, yeah, I'll be doing a bunch of editing tomorrow, and see y'all on the next one.